Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a love reading for Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I tend to, these love readings, I tend to always think they're for singles. I will try to incorporate couples. We'll see what comes up. I, I, I figure if you're in a happily ever relationship, then... You know, you don't need a tarot reading. But, you know, there's a lot of people that are not in a happily ever love relationship. And they, they have questions about it. So anyway, what do we have for Gemini? For January. Oh, we got a flyer. Ooh, the world. And it did come out upright. So the world is a ending, right? This is the end of a journey. Okay, because the the deck starts with the fool, and there's the fool to the world. The world is the last card. This is the this is a major new beginning that is starting after something ends. So this is you've learned something big, big. You've completed a life lesson. You've completed a chapter of your life. You're about to embark on a major new beginning here. Okay, so this is a new chapter. A new beginning is starting for you, Gemini. This is big, and it's good, okay? You've learned something from the last chapter, and now it's time to, to start a, a new one. So, congratulations. Congratulations. All right, that's really all I can say. What do we have for Gemini? Ooh, Five of Swords. Five of Swords. There's some sort of jealousy here. Somebody is jealous of you. Yes, they are. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to put this down. This is jealousy. Look at these people. They are very jealous. They're jealous of your success. They really, really are. This is success. You are successful. You have successfully completed something. You are successful. This is severe jealousy. You got somebody that is not happy. They're not happy. Interesting. We have somebody here that is nasty. This person is nasty. They think that they're better than you. They do. They think that they are better than you. Or somebody thinks that, they, that, that he or she is better than you. This could be the boss, you know, or the leader or somebody that just doesn't want you to take over. They don't want you to take over. They know that you have a lot of skills. That's the thing. They do. Somebody is jealous. They think that they're better than you. It's my way or the high. My way is better. That's what they think. Interesting. But this is a love reading. This is a love reading. There's conflict. There's tension. Somebody is causing a lot of tension in your life. And it's like you're just standing there like, oh my God, you look like a freaking idiot. And they do look like an idiot. So just let them look like an idiot, okay? Your poise and your uh, demeanor proves, even though I can see that you're not happy about the way that they're acting, just let them, they're going to self-destruct themselves. Okay, just let them self-destruct. They look like a fool. Whoever you're dealing with looks like a complete idiot. They do. What do we have for Gemini? Seven. Is it worth it? Now, this is Seven of Pentacles. Is it worth it? This is also something that you planted a long time ago. It's coming to fruition. Now, this could be seven years ago. Does it have to be? Something is, is sprouting. Something is, is about to grow. Okay, there's some growth here. You're nurturing your kindness, your uh, ability to put in effort is going to bring you something because the next card is the eight of pentacles and the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles okay your hard work is paying off so don't give up even if you are dealing with somebody that is nasty and they think that they are better than you i'm telling you what your hard work is paying off it is 
It really, really, really is. Things are gonna are, are about to really grow and really blossom for you. And this, you know, I say this is a love reading, but this could be at your job as well. And it could be at home. It could be with your relationship. You know, uh, somebody may be unhappy that you're happy. And they're doing everything they can to cause conflict. I'm telling you what, your hard work is definitely paying on Nine of Swords. Uh oh. Nine of Swords is extremely worried. Worried that things aren't gonna grow. Worried that things aren't don't you know, I feel like you're worrying needlessly. Eight of there's that eight of eight of pentacles. There's seven of pentacles. Remember where I said eight of pentacles, that's your hard work. Something is going to arrive out of the blue. Something is going to arrive out of the blue. All of a sudden. I can see that you're really, really, really worried. But I don't think that there's nothing to be worried about. I don't. King of Swords. Page of Cups. Seven. Somebody is really deceiving, lying, cheating, doing everything in their power. Seriously, somebody is doing everything in their power to deceive you. To make you worried. To make you fearful. I'm telling you why. You got somebody here that really doesn't like you. They don't like your that you are so intelligent. They don't like that you are so intuitive. They don't like that you are so uh, well put together. They don't like that you are in a good place. Okay? They, they, they see your wisdom. They do see your wisdom. You have a very wise presence about you. And somebody is trying to... Uh, it's like they're trying to steal your own glory. It's like they, they want to... It's like they would like... It's like they want to be you. I don't like to say that, but it's the truth. Anyway, we have the Page of Cups here. The Page of Cups could have to do with a child, but it could be anybody. This is emotional support. This is a dreamer. This is somebody uh, that is sensitive or love struck. This could be a crush or an admirer. Somebody is admiring you. Somebody, um, this is also trust your gut. Follow your heart. I feel like you have a really big heart and somebody is trying, maybe somebody is trying to steal your heart because this is stealing or robbing. This is very worried, worried about, you may be paranoid. If you are in a relationship right now, you may be paranoid that somebody is cheating. I don't think that's the case. If you are single, you may be worried to get in a relationship with anybody because you're fearful of somebody cheating. You have a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, or this is you. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But this could be a child, okay? There's something to do with a child here. This is, uh, but doesn't have to be, but this is a crush or, you know... A new admirer, admirer. If you are single, this is a, a, an admirer sending you a message. So you will probably be, be will be receiving a message from somebody if you're single. This is somebody that has been probably maybe they've been worried. They've been worried about your reaction. Maybe they were thinking that they were too young for you, or they weren't good enough for you, or this could. And I feel like if you are single, this is somebody that you have known for a while. This could be somebody coming back around and. Even if you're not single. Seven years is prominent. I don't know what is, where, where seven years is coming from. From We have seven pentacles here and seven of swords. and So it's like seven, seven years. Maybe nine years. I think it's seven years. It could be 14 years. Um, could be 14 years. Okay. But anyway. Um, I feel as though you are going to have a choice. You're going to ha be able to decide whether you want to let this person. if you Whether you want to work with this person or not. Um, somebody, it's something to do with a motorcycle because you see the motorcycle here as well. So I feel like you, you, uh, something is going to happen really, really fast. 
It's like something just rushes into your life out of the blue. Somebody, and I think whatever this is, this has to do with, um, you planted these seeds and now they're coming to fruition. Okay. Stop worrying. I think that you're really, really, really worried, worried about deception. I think that you are highly, highly, highly intuitive this month. I think the power is in your hands. I think that you are, you have a lot of uh, wisdom. There's definitely somebody that doesn't, that doesn't like you and they're trying to uh, cause you tension. So keep that, keep that in mind. Don't let them, don't let them steal your, your uh, wonderful energy. Don't let them steal your, your, your glory. Don't let them steal your happiness. Don't let them make you feel less than you are okay because then then they win you know they they they're trying to they're trying to they're they're very malicious you're dealing with somebody who is malicious you definitely are um i know that that went off course a little bit but this is six of swords moving in a new direction going to a better place somebody is moving to a better place Leaving behind a troublesome situation. I feel like somebody is also going to... I mean, I just looked at this. This is squeal. If there has been some cheating, which I I don't, I don't know if there has because this is a cheating card. This is somebody squealing. Okay? And that could be squealing as well. Somebody could be squealing. If there's been some lies or there's been some deception, this is somebody squealing and somebody going to a better place. Um, this is a welcome message of love. This is emotional support, but this page is also a child. This is happy news arriving, perhaps about a child. So I know this, that's a different message, but there's something about a child here receiving good news about a child. Gemini, basically what I have to say is you are about to start a new chapter in your life. And you're going to be in a really, 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 really good place. You are. Okay? This is a really good place. It's leaving the trouble behind. Leaving the lies behind. Leaving this uh, deceptive situation behind you. Whatever it was, you are going to be in a good place. You really are. You're going to be right in your element. You're going to be at ease. I feel like you guys are going to be really traveling. You're going to be traveling at a high rate of speed into a new, into this new era. Okay? Things are going to be happening fast. And you're going to be reaping some sort of rewards for your hard work. And I know this is a love reading, but for some, if you are single, if you're single, you're going to, you're, there's a new admirer. There's an admirer here that is probably going to communicate with you. Okay. If you are in a relationship right now, I feel like you're in a good place. You may be fearful that this person is cheating or you may be paranoid or something, but I, I honestly don't think that they are. I don't, for some reason, I feel like it's a, I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. I think it's a good situation to be in. I think that if somebody has been lying, if they have been cheating, it definitely will come out because this is squealing, okay? This is definitely squealing. And if that is the case, somebody will be moving, okay? Because this is moving on. But this is, you know, a new flirtatious crush or a new love or you know it's happiness so Gemini in January you have a new beginning here whether you are single or in a relationship this is this is uh, it really is beautiful even though this seven of swords is here it is. I think there's extreme worry, you know, there's extreme worry about deception. And if you're that worried, if you can't trust, then maybe you need to move on. 
Anyway, I feel like uh, this is a shocking entrance. Somebody, and if you, even if you're coupled, this is somebody entering your life in a shocking manner. This is somebody I think that you have dealt with in the past because of this seven of pentacles. You planted these seeds a long time ago, whether it's seven years ago or 14 years ago or whenever it was. I do feel like it is somebody from the past. And I feel like you are, you know, right in the right where you need to be. It's like you're in the right, at the right place, at the right time. Everything happens for a reason. You're headed towards success. There's nothing to worry about. Anyway, if you're single, you're going to receive a message from somebody that um, maybe you moved on. Maybe this person moved away from you a long time ago or you moved away from them. <laughs> One more card for Gemini for January for love. We have a very intellectually minded person here that uh, knows what they want, has done all the thinking that they need to do, has really come into their own power. This person is, is, has, isn't worrying. This person has nothing to worry about. This person that is very uh, well put together, it's just like this person just sitting here waiting. They're waiting. What's going to happen for this person? The waiting is over with the hangman reversed. There's nothing nothing left to wait for. It's like... Uh, well, the hangman reversed is somebody that is refusing to learn a lesson. Refusing to go in. Doesn't want change. The hangman reverse is refusing to accept change, not learning lessons, very egotistical, missing an opportunity. So we may have somebody here that just, you know, would rather be alone. This person is a loner. And the hangman reverse, this could be somebody else that is refusing. This could be whoever you're you're working with. You're working with somebody that will not change. This person, the hangman reverse, is somebody that won't change. This is somebody that is obsessed with control. You may be working with, or you did work with somebody that is obsessed with control. Maybe it's this person. It is this person. It is this person. This is somebody that you've been working with that is obsessed with control. This person is unwilling to do it, it any other way but their own. We have a fighter here. This is a fighter. This is a fighter. So we have somebody here that this is your jealous person that is trying to, it's like this is an energy vampire trying to steal your energy. This is a love reading. You've got somebody here that is really trying to control you in some way. What the hell is this? Have no fear. Have no fear. You are right where you need to be. Do not let this person, whoever it is, bring you down. You are going to get what you put effort into. Whatever it is, whatever this is, you are going to reap some sort of reward. It may not have fully come to its full potential, but it is going to. You have somebody here that is not does not want you to succeed. And I know this is a love reading, but I hear some girl. Maybe they don't want your relationship to succeed. I don't know who this person is. 
They are obsessed. They are obsessed with control. Controlling your happiness. This is messed up. Anyway, I'm here to tell you, don't give up. Don't give up. Whoever this person is, they want to win at all costs. And they don't care who they hurt. But they're going to get caught. Because this is getting caught. They're going to get caught at their own game. Or you're going to catch them. And you're going to be sitting right where you need to be. There's really nothing to worry about. So as far as of this being a love reading, yeah, you might get a message from somebody if you are single that, you know, from a crush, from somebody that is admiring you from afar, you might get a message from this person. And you may, you know decide to give them a chance or decide to communicate with them this is probably somebody you've known for a long time okay that's what i think if you are in a coupled relationship uh, whew, this you know it feels like there's some sort of extreme worry over cheating and uh I honestly, if you're worried about your partner cheating, I don't think they are. I don't. If that's what your worry is, I don't think they are. If, if, I don't, I don't. If you are dealing with somebody at work that is, you know, causing you major, or a family member, it could be a family, somebody that you are working with on something, this person is massively controlling and they want to win at all costs. And if they take you down, they don't care if they take you down. They have an agenda and it's them being in control. And they will take you down at all costs. If it means lying, because this is lying. If it means stealing. If it means deceiving. They will do anything to win. So be prepared for that. So Gemini, uh, you're about to start a new chapter. <laughs> um, you're headed towards peace and harmony. You're headed towards a better place. Because this is the last card, right? Over here. Well, this one was. But this is getting to a peaceful resolution. Okay? So you will get to that better place and leave this deceptive situation behind. You will. Don't give up. <laughs> Good luck.